Hey guys, so I got my package. Hopefully my phone don't die. I'm trying to record this real quick. So it came in like United Postal Service package. Here's the front, t -poo. I didn't think, I ordered this literally Friday morning when I woke up. <laughs> you know, when that direct deposit hit, <laughs> you know. Literally, when I got up, uh, the first thing I did was order it. And it got, it literally texted me, cause um, I got home and I was with Damaris. I was with Maris. I don't know why I said Damaris. Like I call her Damaris. It's Maris. She's over here. <laughs> um, was with her and it was like, your package has been delivered. Where's Sway? Where? And I was on a tracker, but I couldn't see it. But it was delivered. So I, I like that they did that. So here we have it, guys. You nice. Eunice, you nice. I think it's, I say you nice. I mean, Eunice hair. Um, it could be you nice. I don't know. And I got 100% virgin human hair box i'm sure you guys have all seen it now let's open the box oh, you get some cool stuff in the inside let me just turn it so you guys can see it and i'll pull everything out so i'm gonna set the box down you get a weaving cap which is cool got my little usp usp U, ups ups yeah ups is who dropped it off and they brought it to my door so what did i get let me see if it's on one of these papers. I think I got a, a, um, I got the little deal they were doing. I think I got a 14, what did I say? I can't remember. I think it was like a 14, a 16, oh yeah. Okay, so I got a 14 inch, 16 inch, 18 inch, and a 12 inch closure. So yeah, so here is my closure. It's a three part closure, which is off, well, three part closure. Um, this is what it looks like. I didn't take anything off the package. This is literally me unboxing it. I gotta bleach the knots and all that fun stuff. I've been watching videos literally all day. I'm gonna make a wig. Closure. Um, I think this is a 14. Yeah, 14 inch. Nice wefts. I didn't take anything out of the package. Um, and I'll smell it, I guess. Um, this is a 16. Oh, it's on the bags. Yeah, this is a 16. I'm so excited. 16. And then last but not least, the 18. Um, I'm going to really try my best to use all three bundles with this wig. Um, I know everybody's like, oh, I like the full look. We'll see what happens. I've been making wigs like with my hair store hair, just practicing. I'm not a hair connoisseur, guru, none of that. This is what it looks like. Oh. It's soft. It smells like plastic. Like, not plastic. It doesn't stink. Smell it. Yes. Does it stink? It smells like coffee or something. It smells like hair or like a flat iron. Yeah, like a flat iron. I don't know. I think it smells good. Um, It looks constructed well. I don't know how people be like doing the ends and stuff. I don't know about this stuff, y'all. I'm just showing y'all my reviews and everything. These are the wefts. They look really good. A little packaging. Oh, I'm possibly cute. Y'all. Yeah. My wig is about to be lit. I'm watching videos all week and all day. And this made me happy because I didn't get the best in this today. But, you know, not going to let the devil win. You can't. You just can't. It will drive you insane. In due time, whatever God's plan is, it's God's plan. You know, we're just living, just living the best way I can. I'm going to bleach the knots. And I'm also going to... um. What's it called? Bleach the knots. Um, then I'm going to wash the hair. Um, well, deep condition the hair. Construct my wig. Hopefully, I can at least get started tonight. If not finished, I might honestly just stay up and do it all. Because I'm too excited to sleep. And, yeah, I got all this stuff that I've been watching on the videos. I never bleached before, so I really have to read the instructions. So, yeah, guys, that was it. I was just showing you, like, literally pulling stuff out the box. I didn't take everything out because I just didn't do that yet. I literally just got it. So, I'll come up here, um, back up on here when I do the installation and all that. Stay tuned for two guys, part two, guys. Thanks. Bye. Okay, hey, guys. So, I'm about to start my wig. Um, right now, I am on my throat right now but i'll show you the wig here we go so here's the my done 
It's my wig head. I have a stand. Um, I've already measured my dome cap. I mean, my dome head to be the measurements of my actual head. This is a dome cap with a thicker elastic band. You can still do the, I guess, the elastic band method, but I'm going to try it with this. If it starts to get loose or funny, more like, you know, <clears throat> tightness, then I may get one. But for right now, this will do. I've already threaded my needle. I've got my pins in. So I'm going to start. So, okay, guys, I am not, like, this part was kind of challenging for me. It's probably not the hardest thing, but, um, I am not like a hairstylist of any kind at all whatsoever. This is just literally me pretty much learning for myself mostly. And just so I can just start doing my own hair. And uh, know how to do it just so I don't have to pay people. There's nothing wrong with paying people, you know, but why not? you know learn it for myself and go from there so I started with that one and I'm going through the uh not through the elastic band I'm going through like the material um because I'm when I tried to make this wig using like a standard mesh cap I need to take this tea pad out when I tried to do it that way when I I literally did the whole wheel whole wig not the whole wheel the whole wig and this was just the other day and I had to take everything back out like I was super super mad like I was just like really I got this far I had to take it all out I was so pissed off but I think I think I'm doing okay right now guys so I'm just gonna keep um going here so if my stitches aren't the greatest, um, obviously don't come for me. Uh, move at your own, own desired uh, thoughts and your own discretion with it. Um, I'm just doing the best of my ability. Like I said, I am not a, a wig maker. You know, I don't. I didn't go to school for this. I'm literally just doing my own thing here so yeah other than that trying to get we got base stuff for the 90s concert tomorrow night i'm so excited um i think i'm doing okay right now it may be coming up in the video just a little bit of the cap because of my t-pins but on both sides are straight so just gonna keep going and this is just gonna be a sad part so it's nothing like i mean obviously i can like move it if i want but i think it's coming out okay for someone that literally learned how to do all this stuff just by watching youtube i think i do fairly okay um <laughs> not to like be cocky or anything but i think i do all right like you know this is my you nice hair wanted to you know, make it look decent the best way I can. But it's all a learning process. We've literally been out all morning. Uh, went to go see another place. Uh, I don't know, guys. <laughs> it's kind of like a story time. Kind of like awesome watching me make my wig. I am, I guess, not getting discouraged. But I'm kind of getting discouraged for the simple fact of, um, I don't know if I want to do that way right there. I don't, okay, so I didn't like, when I was younger, like I'm only 22, so I didn't like go to college, get a credit card, start using credit, um, all this other stuff that, I, you know, I see my peers doing, other people my age that have been doing. I didn't do that, you know, I... For a brief time, I went to college. I didn't take out a credit card. You know, I only live with family. I don't have bills in my name. Never had utilities, nothing like that. So it's just like I have a loan I need to pay. And it's like I don't have anything positive on my credit. And a lot of, you know, rental places and all that, they want you to have something positive reflecting on your credit. Like, hey, we're not just going to take this chance on you. And we're not sure, you know, if you could pay it pay us or pay it back or handle it or whatever and I, and you know i get it but you know it's just it's just deteriorating kind of because it's just like oh well 
what do I do then? You know, it's like, what do I do then? But can't get discouraged. Go make a way, you know, just keep grinding pretty much. Handle it day by day. Take it. Whatever the Lord's, the Lord's blessing is, just got to be patient. So this is mannequin hand. I hope you guys can see that. I'm not perfect, okay? But I think I'm doing all right. This closure. Come back on. Then I'm going to start doing my wefts. Come back probably like halfway through. Oh, don't mind my twist out. You know it's Bobby. Um, come back halfway through. And then hopefully if everything goes well, <laughs> come back on here and show you guys the finished product, okay? So, bye. Okay, guys. So, okay. This is the finished product. Let's just say I love the hair. It's soft. It's flowy. And it's affordable. Okay, so I made a wig. Okay. So in the the first part of this video, you're gonna see how I started it. Let me just start off with I when I made my wigs wigs, I used to do them sewing them in and it wasn't hard. For some reason, this time it was the hair is great. It wasn't the hair. My nerves was getting bad. I was pressed for time because I was trying to make sure we made it to the '90s um, block party concert. So I was like, okay, I had to get this done. It wasn't working. I was getting frustrated. I bought three caps. Bought two, got one for free, or bought one, got two for free, something like that. I Sally's. I used every single cap. This is the third dome cap. So what I did was, um, it's just a closure. Um, free part closure. You can do middle, side, side. I do this side. So if you're looking at me, it's technically on my right. I know the camera might be showing the opposite way. Um... So I sewed down my closure, like I put the dome cap on my um, dome head, on my um, wig head, sorry, mannequin styrofoam head, put, sewed down the closure, and then after that I took the dome head off, put a regular like stock, uh, stocking cap on my head, then a store bag, and then a dome cap, and then started gluing the tracks. So this is as much hair as I got in my head. I'm sure if I maybe, you know, got a little closer, I could have got more on there. So it's um proven body wave i do believe yep and i like it it's it's light now i did bleach the knots which you'll see prior in the video um i did um co-wash it i didn't film the co-wash part and i didn't film the bleaching part but i did do bleach knots so it does look realistic <clears throat> Don't mind my part right now. My hair's not really blended in, y'all. I just got off work a few, like an hour or two ago. This is all day hair. I'm not, this isn't as soon as I woke up. Tad, this has literally been all day at work on a Saturday. Okay, so I think it's good. I mean, the quality feels fine. When I got it, it just smelled like, I don't know, hair. Like a lot of people say like certain hair stink. It smelled fine to me. Um, It does not mat up, but I also am not wearing it every day like i'm not going to sleep in it to me i feel like if whatever you pay for your hair if you wrap it up if you manage it it can last you some time you just have to take care of your stuff whether it's the most expensive bundles of bundles um whether it's you know the more affordable bundles of bundles you still have to take care of it but this was a box just to show y'all again i still have some hair in here i didn't i use so when i sewed it in i got all the hair in both times but then when i just glued it I hate cutting my wefts. I really don't because it does cause shedding. But honestly, this has not had much shedding at all, even though I cut my wefts. And that's really good. It, it's really full. Like, I still have a full ponytail. Like, I still have a full ponytail. Like, it might not look like it in camera, but it is a full ponytail. Um, it's not itchy. And this is the first hair, whether it's affordable or not, that the closure and the hair isn't like driving me crazy. And that's what I figure for me is what I have to do. Um, I just keep brushing it because it's a force of habit and I just, you know, I don't want to go crazy, you know. I want to do this hair right, okay? Um, I notice like if I don't co-wash the hair or wash it or, you know, however before installing it, I will literally be clawing my head out. Like, so serious. So I think... I'm going to keep getting, like, you know, bundles to do my wigs until I start um, locking up my hair. And once I start locking up my hair, I'll probably still wear wigs, especially depending on how short I start off. Just to have versatility for a while. I am going to lock my hair. I did come up with that, you know, decision that I do want to do that. I've done my pixie cut. And I love tying my pixie cut out, even, even still being scared. But, you know, it's hair. 
I love my hair, but I'm not like, I mean, I don't take my hair for granted, no. But it's also like, it could grow back. You could take it out. You could take dreadlocks out, you know, after but so much time. I've seen videos where, you know, people have had their dreadlocks for like 30 years and they got them taken out. And their hair was just thick and healthy and lovely, you know. So, I mean, you have the option of doing either or. So, yeah, I was just coming up on here to just update you guys and just let you know, I did try to sew in your but it wasn't working. I feel like if I had the correct dome head, it would work. Because I have a styrofoam head, and I, yo, I got a big head, okay? And I even did the whole, when I sewed it in and didn't fit, I looked on YouTube, found different methods to expand it. Like, you know, flipping it inside out and cutting some of the axis where you don't have thread. It still did not fit. So I feel like because the dome head is kind of how I eyeballed my measurements, that's probably why. So I may have to invest in, like, a mannequin that doesn't have the face like maybe the expensive ones but there's so much back and forth they're good they're not that great stick with what you have so on and so forth so yeah i was just coming up here to just show y'all how it came out and you might see my tan cap but you know that's just because it's a wink okay but y'all yeah, like it um okay guys i usually have this a little closer like not all the way up here but a little closer i don't do baby hairs it's not my thing, nothing against them. But for me, I just don't have time for stuff to be on my forehead. I sweat, I don't really care for all those <laughs> little, and they're too much. Like I don't have time for big bodacious swoopies to be on my face when I have baby hairs, but my baby hairs aren't like all like that. You know what I mean? They're not like coming down here and going on, you know? So yeah, that's all I want to update you guys on and I will talk to you later.